Welcome back Remodelites to another episode of Quick Tip Tuesday where I dive into your questions, comments, and concerns. Natalie, my travelation on Instagram, sent me a DM the other day. She's a travel vlogger out of Australia and wants to know how to build this shower, but supply it coming out of the garden hose spigot. There's only one problem. I've never plumbed anything in Australia before. But I love a challenge, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna explain how to do it with American fittings, and then I'm gonna explain how to translate that to the fittings one might use in Australia. So let's get into it. Everything you saw in the photo of that shower is easily available at your local plumbing store. We're gonna pick up some adapters, a flex line, some pipe and fittings, and a ball valve. That's really it. We'll start with the standard issue garden hose bib. I chose to use a garden hose Y so I could split the flow. That way the garden hose is still usable even though we're gonna hook up a shower to it. As you can see, the half inch threads for the supply line do not match up to the three quarter garden hose threads. So we're gonna need an adapter. Here's where this comes in. This particular adapter is three quarter female garden hose thread by half inch male iron pipe. And that threads on very nicely. Now pay attention kids, this right here is exactly why you don't want to be the star and the cameraman. You see that piece? That is a half inch brass nipple and it is male threads on both sides. I'm threading it into the other end of the supply line, which you cannot see because I was off screen. Because, as I said, I am both the star and the cameraman. At the other end of that nipple, I'm threading in a ball valve, which was going to be our on off for this cold only shower. Now I'm threading in a half inch shark bite male adapter. One end threads into the ball valve, the other end we're gonna push in some copper pipe. I chose copper for the aesthetic as well as the rigidity. And I chose shark bites because they require no specialty tools to install. And when I'm done, I can put these parts back. You can see how easy these things snap in. No soldering or specialty tools required. At the top of our structure, I put a half inch shark bite drop ear elbow another length of pipe, and then a half inch by male thread elbow. And with that, you can thread on your desired shower head, anything from a little old cheapo like this to some sort of big giant rain head or anything in between. I'd recommend the use of one of these half inch bell copper hangers to secure your pipe to a wall or stud. Remember our friend the drop eared elbow that we put at the top? Well, you can use that to secure it to the wall. The ball valve at the bottom turns things off and on. And don't forget, you can cut the copper line to any length you desire, and these shark bites are super easy to remove. Watch. Squeeze and pull. It's that simple. And there it is, pretty easy with American plumbing, right? Well, sit back, grab some Vegemite, and I'll tell you what this means for our friends down under. When comparing the Australian and the United States hose bibs, it should be glaringly obvious, even to the untrained eye, that these two hose bibs are not identical. Those threads at the end are not the same. This is because while the United States uses National Pipe Thread, or NPT, Australia uses BSPT, or British Standard Pipe Thread. Now the good news is, according to plumbingsales.com.au, it looks like shark bites are available in Australia. It looks like in this case, you're gonna be using 15 millimeter fittings. So Natalie, it looks like all you have to do is go into your local hardware store. So Natalie, the missing link here is getting a fitting that's going to reduce from the garden hose to a 15 millimeter fitting. But I honestly think with this video and these notes, you should be able to go down to your local hardware store armed with information and knowing exactly what questions to ask.
Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good information out of that episode. Go ahead and click here for more videos. Go ahead and click here to subscribe. And make sure you check out the description below for relevant links to some of the products that we discussed today. And leave your comments and questions down below because I love answering them. As always, I'll see you in the next one.